Welcome to my channel, Dr. Munshi Nasser Skelton. How are you, my dear learners? In this video, I'm going to talk about a fantastic systematic and meta-analysis research methodology where you can try to publish your next systematic and meta-analysis research article in a Scopus Index journal. I tell you what, this methodology is nowadays very popular and I'm going to share the key steps how to conduct that using the software and where to get the resources. The methodology that I am talking about today is the umbrella research review. So without wasting any time, let's get started. My dear learners, as you know that umbrella review nowadays got very much attention. You know why? Because every now and then we are doing meta analysis in different type of top topic. Maybe in the science, maybe in the medicine or business, economics, social science, in lots of areas, there are so many meta analyses and so many systematic reviews. Now, in order to find a research gap, new research gap, sometimes what we do, we synthesize all those conducted systematic and meta analysis review and among those, all the reviews, systematic and meta-analysis, we do an umbrella review. In one word, we actually aggregate all the systematic and meta-analysis review together in order to do an umbrella review that can give you a potential research gap on that particular topic for future. And it's a very interesting area where nowadays the research publication is relatively more easy. If you submit any article based on this title and topic, the chances of getting your paper accepted is almost 70 to 80 percent. And that is from my experience, I'm telling you. Now, where to get the instruction of the meta analysis and systematic review, synthesizing the umbrella review. Now, there is a fantastic research article called a nine step pathway to conduct an umbrella review of literature. In this particular four page literature review article, you will find all the steps of umbrella review. For example, how to conduct an umbrella review, consideration, uh, number one, justify the review to co-authors, design the study and register the review protocol, then prepare the search strategy and conduct the literature search, likewise nine steps. If you follow these steps, you will be good to go for an umbrella review. Remember, my dear learners, it is about the synthesizing all the systematic and meta-analysis paper that has been done before on your field. You are collecting all those research articles in order to do an umbrella review. Okay? So, that is how you can do it. And there is an example given here, resource for conducting umbrella review. There are some resources where you can go and collect information for an umbrella review. And it is only four page article. There is no need to study a lot of things. The four page article can give you a quick start of how to conduct an umbrella review. Okay. Now, once you decide the umbrella review, once you know what umbrella review is all about, now you need to understand where to get the research title of the umbrella review. On that particular case, the chat GPT can help you. For example, and I, if I write down, can you name five umbrella review title for medicine science? If I'm interested on the medicine science or medical science, you can see here that in integrative approaches to chronic pain management an umbrella review of evidence-based interventions. It's an evidence-based synthesizing. The efficacy of vaccination strategy, an umbrella review of global health outcomes, exploring the relationship between diet and mental health, an umbrella review of current research. So, as you can see here that what kind of title that can be considered for the umbrella review, it is given here very nicely. Using the chat GPT, you can identify your research title very nicely in this way. So, in my opinion, that is the starting point of your research article writing for Scopus Index Journal. Next one comes, how to collect the data. Umbrella review requires data collection. For example, you are collecting some systematic review and meta-analysis research article, and from there, you need to collect a uniform effect size. 
for example the mean difference hedges d or cohen's d maybe you are going to collect those information or side that you are looking for okay that can be easily collected using this particular website called chat with my with any pdf this is a paid version free version there are few options but paid version you can do unlimited extraction of data from pdf files in my opinion i have searched so many ai tools this is the tool it is more cheaper than other tools and in one of the best way in my opinion because i have searched so many so many other ai tools i couldn't find the better and cheaper one so this is chat with any pdf this is the website i will share the link in my video description box you try this one you can drop down the pdf and ask the question about the data collection of meta analysis okay the next one is the umbrella review itself this is called the meta umbrella review website and in this particular website this is the one of the most important website to understand umbrella review clearly and i believe if you follow these steps it will be very easy it's like a crystal clear for example here you can see that the tutorials given you format of your data load your data set declare the structure of the data certify the evidence interpret the results then comes the examples it gives you one by one examples of how to conduct an umbrella review okay and the most important and in my opinion the best thing is it has given you an app where you can upload your data analyze your data get the results without taking any external research software how interesting is that so you can you can see here that meta umbrella review choose your file format upload your data set the structure of your data and everything in this particular app you can do it summary plot raw data checking but before you do it you just go to the tutorials one by one and then try with one or two examples for practice and after that you use your own data set in order to do a fantastic umbrella review now there are so many articles given one of the article that i am currently working nurse staffing and patient care outcomes protocol for an umbrella review to identify evidence gaps for low and middle income countries in global literature so there are so many articles available in pubmed google scholar and you can use any protocol google scholar is open source so you can try that you can go for size space you can use pubmed and if you need any help to access any article of course feel free to refer my other videos how to download free article okay using websites that i already share in my channel so you can do that as well use that as well so in my opinion for an interesting researcher google scholar is an open source you can try with that and pubmed also you can try with that and others for example scopus or other sources it depends on your institution access but normally they they normally give access and there is another one called the semantic research semantic research if you go to the semantic research semantic semantic scholar it can also help you to identify your research article very easily from this platform and it is completely free to download your papers based on your title and topic so in my opinion my dear learners you try with this umbrella review a new way a new innovative approach to systematic and meta analysis review in order to publish your next article in a scopus index high impact factor journal very easily so with that note i will see you with more interesting and fascinating information about the research and i hope you will keep in touch do let me know if you have any questions regarding umbrella review meta analysis systematic review i will get back to you as soon as possible thank you my dear learners for your patient hearing and great support